Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to upgrade your Steam Deck default joystick, which is potentiometer based joystick to a Hall effect joystick, which will be practically free from the drift effect that you see normally onto the joystick, which is why guys, I have decided to upgrade it to this Elite Gear Steam Deck joystick in my previous video guys i have already shown you how to upgrade the joystick but the last joystick that i used was from Gully kit but this joystick is different this is from ellie gear the difference between the ellie gear joystick and the Gully kit joystick is ellie gear joystick used the circular gate instead of the square gate which is used by the Gully kit joystick so whenever you move the joystick in the circular section of the square gate there is a dead zone onto the sides so whenever you move it onto the side it does not account for the dead zone which is present onto the corner which is why guys i have decided to upgrade the joystick from elegear which uses the circular gate so whenever you move the joystick in the circular motion which is practically the normal way of using the joystick there will be no dead zones which is why guys elegear joystick is better than the gully kit joystick so in this video i am going to tell you how to upgrade the joystick of your Steam Deck to an Elegear joystick. So ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So before we can start with the upgrade, so like I have told you before, any gear joystick is a superior joystick than Gully Kit joystick because it uses a circular gate rather than a square gate. So before we start with the mod, let's quickly see what is there on the top of the box. As you can see on the top of the box, you have the branding from Elegear. It is a Steam Deck joystick kit. In addition to that, you have an analog edition and a hall edition. This is a hall edition joystick. So it is an Hall Effect compatible with MIDA and MHDA working with 3.3 volt. Output voltage is 0.5 volt to 2.8 volt. The operating current is 3.8 milliampere. The package contains the left and right joystick, hot melt glue pallets and a tear down toolkit so as to be able to open your Steam Deck. In addition to that, it says that Hall Effect sensor is a highly sensitive Hall effect sensor with no drift, pure analogical trim circuit with no latency, work with both MEDA and MHDA controllers, ESD diode protected from the static electricity and necessary toolkits are included inside the box. On the sides, you have nothing more than the branding of Steam Deck joystick kit and, and that's what you have on the top of the box. So let's quickly open the box and see the contents inside. So as you can see, it comes with the installation guide here. It has all the instructions which you would need in two different languages at least. So you can go through it if you want. I will keep it aside for now as I am going to walk you through on how to do it as well. Other than that, it comes with the pickling tool so as to be able to open your Steam Deck. This comes with this rubber pallets or rubber pads. It comes with a plastic tweezer, as you can see, which is also something really nice to prevent it from static charges. It comes with another picking tool to help it open. And you have a Phillips screwdriver. And lastly, you have the left and the right Hall effect sensor, which is also something really, really nice. Here onto the top of the joystick, you can see you have right and left joystick marked properly and then you have a switch to switch between MEDA mode and MHDA mode depending upon what kind of controllers that you have. So that is what you have. Here you have the ribbon cable connector. Onto the top, you can see here you have the Hall Effect joystick and you have a pad where you can solder the touch pad cable which I'll show you in a minute how to do that so that is what it is used for and that is pretty much what it is now to check the mode 
in which your joystick has to be configured we have to go into the steam settings and then go to system and then scroll all the way down where it says your steam deck controller id here you can see it starts with meda so that is how you know in which mode you have to set your joystick to so in my case it is going to be meda so i am going to set up my controller in meda mode when you install it onto your steam deck you have to install it onto your meda connection on both the left and right joystick for now so that is what we are going to do as you can see you can switch easily between meda and mhda mode which is something which is really nice and it is not present as of now on your gully kit hall effect joysticks so that is what you have so let's quickly open the steam deck and install the joysticks Guys, this is my steam deck i have already done my previous video on how to install this back plate and things like that so if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out in addition to that in my previous video i have already shown you how to install the gully kit hall effect joystick if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above as well so before we can start the mod ensure that you have shut down your steam deck once you have shut down your steam deck let's turn it around and open all the screws like we have done it before these are the Phillips screws that you have on to the back side of your steam deck which holds your back plate so let's quickly open them so the side screws are a little longer than the center four screws so ensure that you make that distinction and keep them separate as you can see the center screws are smaller than the side screws so you have to keep them separate for now so that you don't forget how did you install it we have to do the same thing once we finish the mod to close the steam deck once you have removed all the screws here you need to start picking up from the sides and and then open the steam deck before we do that ensure that you have removed the SD card from your steam deck otherwise it will break your cover or your sd card so i'm going to remove the sd card now let's quickly start opening the steam deck using this picking tool that came along with it so once you have opened it from the side now use this tool that came along with it to keep it open ensure that the notch is facing towards you so that you can lift it so that's how it is used and it will open your steam deck easily and then moving on to the other side and then on the top Once you have done that, it will easily come out if you have not forgotten to open any of the screws. So it will come out just like this easily. There are no wires onto the back. So don't worry while opening the back cover. So here you can see you have right and left joystick installed onto your Steam Deck. So we'll quickly go and uninstall it. It is recommended to disconnect the battery but for me it, it works fine so just do not hit the power button while you are doing the mod and you should be fine as well so let's quickly open it as well so we'll start with the left joystick so let's quickly open three screws and remove this ribbon cable to remove the ribbon cable ensure that you lift the latch that you have this is the latch or lock that you have you have to lift it up and then pull the cable so let's lift it up just like this using the nails and then the plastic to remove the cable so this is how you disconnect your joystick we'll remove it by Phillips screwdriver each of these screws uh, so as you can see your left joystick had came out we'll do the same thing for the right one so this is your right joystick we'll do the same thing lift the lock and disconnect the cable and then we'll 
and then we unscrew this joystick so as you can see the right joystick has come out as well we'll keep this aside for now now onto the original joystick as you can see there is a cable soldered onto the side it is there on both of the joysticks that you have taken it out these are the original joystick from steam deck which comes installed this cable wire is connected onto the touch pad this is the touch sensitive pad if you have not known that so which is why you need a cable to be connected onto your controller to be able to sense the touch onto these joystick which is why you need to disconnect this cable and again reconnect it to your new joystick so which is why guys you have this pad as well here onto the new joystick so as to be able to connect those pads so let's quickly do that first we need to desolder it and then resolder it you might have to desolder it with a higher temperature as it comes with the insulation which is why guys with the new kit as well you are given with these plastic pads these are nothing but but the hot glue pad so as to be able to glue your cable once you have soldered it onto your steam deck once you have soldered the wire onto your new joysticks which is why guys this is something really nice which was not present on your gully kit joystick which they have not provided this is something really nice about the elite gear as well so let's quickly desolder these pads before we desolder it you have to remove the cap just by pulling it out your joystick will be disconnected this plastic onto the top we have to do it for both and then desolder it so that your cap does not get damaged and you can keep it away so that's why you have to remove the caps before we can desolder it so let's quickly desolder it i have kept my soldering iron as of now on around 375 degrees so it's hot enough to ensure that your plastic parts are away and then quickly heat it heat the pad so that you can solder it again you have to breach the insulation so that's how you disconnect it so my my right joystick top pad is disconnected we'll keep it on to the right so we'll do it the left one for the same way you can see this is left joystick we are going to desolder the wire just keep heating for some time until the top side shell is melt and you can reach it to the solder and it will disconnect easily as you can see my solder is melted and my wire came out so my left joystick cover has been taken out so before we can solder anything onto your new joystick this is the right one and this is the left as you can see it is marked on both the joystick right and left so we'll start with the left one so as you can see i have soldered the wire to its place onto the le gear joystick this is the right and this is the left one and i have put the glue onto the top using the soldering iron as well so my solder is complete so once you have finished the soldering you have to put back the cover onto the top so let's do that this is the left one and this is the right one once you have put back the cover your joystick is ready to be installed onto your steam deck let's do that quickly as well so as you can see this is my steam deck from which i have removed the right and left joystick so right one will go onto the left side as it is flipped just gently lift the steam deck and your controller will be placed at its place where it is supposed to be nicely aligned now put back the screws using the philips screwdriver to attach it to its place as you can see my right joystick is put on to its place we'll do the same thing for the left one it should set at its place without problem we'll put back the screws 
Now that my joystick is at its place, let's quickly connect the ribbon cables. So you have to lift the lock like we did it in the previous joystick and insert the ribbon cable. Ensure that whenever you insert the ribbon cable, it is tight enough and it has, whenever you lock it, ensure that the white line is not visible, which was there onto the, onto the ribbon cable. We'll do that for the right stick as well. Just lift the flip just like this and insert the ribbon cable. As you can see, there is a white line. Ensure that it is aligned properly and not visible whenever you lock it. Insert it properly so that you do not have a disconnection problem and it is straight and then relock the cable to its place. So this completes the mod. Let's quickly close the back cover and see how does it look like. So as you can see, I have closed the back cover in the reverse way. I have just put the back cover and put all the screws. So that's what I have done. So let's quickly turn this on and see if the joystick is installed properly. And then we'll calibrate the joystick. As you can see, it is booted properly. My joysticks are working properly as of now, as you can see. So let's quickly go on to the settings and see how to calibrate it. Now to start with the calibration process, first you need to do is to turn on your Steam Deck and then go on to your power. Go on to your switch desktop mode as we need to go to desktop to start with the calibration process. Once you are on the desktop, you need to go on to the start menu from the side go on to the system and open the console on the console you need to type the command which is called thumbstick underscore cal once you press enter it will shut down your Steam library and it will take you back onto the console screen just like this. So here what it says that first you need to leave your joystick at its center position. You do not touch your joystick and press A or enter. I'll press A. Now your center position has been calibrated. Now what it is saying is to rotate both the joystick in all the directions so that it calibrates its maximum value in all the directions. So we will move the left and right joystick in all the direction possible with maximum values. Once you are done and you are satisfied that you have moved your thumbstick in all the direction possible, press A. So once you have done that, as you can see, it has calibrated all the values, minimum and maximum value in all the direction and it has saved and it says that press A to exit. Now I have exited here to my console back. Now I'll close the console. Next thing we need to recalibrate the dead zone. To do that, you need to return back to the game mode. Once you have returned back to the game mode, you have to hit on Steam to open the side menu. This time we'll go on to settings. Scroll all the way down where it says controller. Onto the controller, go at this option where it says calibration and advanced settings. This will not recalibrate your values, but it will recalibrate the dead zone. I'll explain you in a minute. Let's go inside. So here you can see you have an option for the left joystick and the right joystick. So let's calibrate the left joystick first. Once you hit down, it will take on to the menu where it says you can slide and adjust the dead zone. You can see the center. That is the dead zone. That is what you need to start testing. Click on Y to start testing. So now when you move your joystick, the left joystick, it will start moving around. As you can see, it is calibrated properly and your cursors are moving towards the outer circle. And whenever you leave, it is centered back. So that is what you need. If you want to adjust the dead zone that you have, you need to click on A to increase or decrease the dead zone. I would say to leave it to the recommended dead zone 
because sometimes whenever you touch slightly the cursor has the movement and it will start moving your character so it is necessary that you have a certain amount of deflection to detect which is why it is always recommended to have a dead zone you can have smaller dead zone for larger sensitivity higher dead zone for lower sensitivity of your joystick so with a small touch it will start moving things like that whenever you reduce the dead zone so that is what it means i will leave it to the default dead zone area for now as my cursor is properly centered so that is what we needed so i have done the left joystick we will do the same thing for the right joystick to exit the calibration process we'll click on b and then click up and go right now this is the time to recalibrate the right joystick we'll hit bottom again and y so that it starts calibrating so here as well as you can see it whenever i move around my right joystick it is moving around the circle which is why we had to recalibrate first and then whenever i leave it it comes back to the dead zone so my calibration is complete i don't want to increase the dead zone or modify the dead zone for now if you want you can do that by clicking on a so since mine is done i'll click on back and back and exit the menu and that is it that is how you recalibrate your new hall effect sensor based joystick onto your steam deck so this is it guys this completes the tutorial i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies